approaching the stairs, we are back for another lesson. Another lesson two. Uh, remember, in the first lesson, we had talked about the use of the word much and many used words. So, hoping my activity is done. Really? Then today, I want us to look at the use of some and any. Some and any. They are common words. We use them in written and spoken English. So, we are going to see their rules, how to use them. Some and any, these two words, they are used to refer to quantity or number. When you are referring to quantity or number, you can use either sum or any. How do we use the word sum? If you look at this word sum, it is only used when a sentence is in affirmative. When a sentence is in affirmative. Another word to be affirmative can be positive. So we can say either affirmative or positive. So in any sentence which is affirmative or positive, we use the word sub. Then any is used for two forms of sentences that can be negative and data. Remember that when we were looking at the use of many and much, I talked about negative and interrogative sentences. I talked about these sentences affirmative, negative, and interrogative. So, negative, that is when the sentence contains the word not. Interrogative, when it is in a question form. So, when it is negative, we use it any. Also, interrogative, we use it any. We are going to look at some examples here. The first example is here. We bought some mangoes yesterday. We bought some mangoes yesterday. So I have underlined the word some. Then I can ask a question. Why do you think this word sum is being used in this sentence. I shall prove when you have answered my questions. There, because I give one exercise. So, so we bought some marbles yesterday. I have used the word sum here because the sentence is very really affirmative. Then, number we did it. By any mammals yesterday. So this sentence here is in a negative form because the word living, because of the word living. So where we have negative, it is supposed to use the word any. So we say we didn't buy any mammals yesterday. Number three, did we buy? Any mangoes yesterday. This one is an interrogative sentence because it is asking you a question. So if it is a question, did you buy? It must be any. That means grammatically, we cannot say, did you buy some mangoes? You are using the sum in a question. And yet here we are saying that for you to use the sum, the sentence must be affirmative. And for you to use the N, it must be either negative or data. So you can see that this last two, we didn't buy, is negative. Did we buy any mangoes yesterday? Is interrogative. That's why they have used the N. While well, this one, which has used the word sum, is a affirmative. So how that is how we are supposed to use these two words, sum and a and commonly someone will come come and ask you, 
do you have some money? That one is not a correct sentence. Because you are asking and you are using the word sir. So if you are asking, make sure the sentence is, do you have any money? Let me put them here. Do you have any money? Question mark. Then you can say no. I don't have. So now, do you have any money? This is question one. I mean sentence number one. And this is sentence number three. Do you have any money? No, I don't have any money. Do you have any money? Yes, I have some money. So you can see the difference is that where we are having any, this one is interrogative, this one is negative, where well, this one is affirmative, which has used the word some. So some for affirmative, while any for negative and interrogative. Still, the activity is here, which is expected to be answered. It's carrying just simple questions for you. I wish you were. Well.